Yo, 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 what's up everybody, it's your boy King Bean and I'm back with some more gameplay. Yo, it is Battlefield 4, it's something else other than Call of Duty, oh my god. Yeah, I popped this game in, I didn't play this game in months, so the gameplay is really, really terrible. But my team did dominate, I did have some more of the gameplay, but I did not feel like editing that part out tonight. So, anyway, what I'm here to talk to you guys about is the new Battlefield game that is coming out, um... In a couple weeks, well, next week, I think, on the 17th, that is Battlefield Hardline. Now, I don't know too much about the game. I kind of got burnt out on Battlefield 4. I, do, I did not like this as much as I did Battlefield 3. And I'm wondering if it's just because at the launch of the game, the game was terrible. I mean, it was hard to get into a game. Or when you were in a game, it kicked you out of a game pretty quickly. And it was, it was just awful. So, I didn't play it as much didn't really enjoy it. I mean it's still it's still fun. The game's still fun, but it's not it wasn't as fun. I didn't I really I didn't really enjoy it. But uh trying to play this game and playing Call of Duty so much and I forgot, you know, this game is more about playing the objective. And right now what what I'm on right now is playing uh Rush, which was my favorite my favorite thing to play on Battlefield when playing Battlefield three. because uh, it it was it's cause this game is highly intense. Although there's a lot of slow mo moments, I edited out a whole bunch of stuff out of this video because there's a lot of running. You know, the maps are really big. If you're familiar with Battlefield, it is huge. And it's, you have to rely on your teammates. And actually playing in this match, we had people with mics. So uh, me and my homeboy, uh, I forget his name right now, but uh, we linked up and he was shocked that I had a mic. And we both had mics and we were teaming up together and we did very well on this map. And uh, although my shooting skills is really lacking, trust me, I do play a lot better. I got another gameplay footage of it where I played a whole lot better. Once I got used to the controls again and got used to the pace of the game again. Uh, but, yeah, playing this game here, you know, again, you play the objective. And that's mainly what <clears throat> Battlefield brings to the table other than Call of Duty. Call of Duty is more of a lone wolf type of game. This game here, you... You know, again, like I said, you play the objective and pretty much, for lack of a better term, you camp and you just try to pick off as many players as you can. Um, but Hardline. Hardline, I, I don't know if I want the game or not. Although now, I, I didn't play the beta. Although now a lot of people are saying that, you know, after they played the beta, the game is really good. It's really fun. They got, you know, of course, Battlefield has the dedicated servers, which is uh, really good. Unlike Call of Duty, which I still don't understand why Call of Duty don't have dedicated servers, which makes absolutely no sense. But Hardline, from what everybody's saying, is, again, like I said, it's pretty decent. And I'm thinking about getting it. But I'm just wondering, are there too many shooters on the market? The shooters have been dominating this, dominated pretty much the last gen consoles. And this next gen, quote unquote, next gen console, is is has been dominating so far um because i do miss some of the hack and slash games i do miss those and i'm not too much of a bigger fan of like puzzle games oh here i thought i got glitched out i didn't realize i was inside a vehicle it kind of threw me for a loop my homeboy sitting in the corner like yo <laughs> i'm like yo where am i i don't know where i'm at he's like oh you're in the vehicle i said okay cool beans but anyway uh shooters have just been dominating the market no hack and slash you know like I said, I'm not a big fan of puzzle games or RTSs, but every game that seemed to come out the, that you play the most is first-person shooters, and I wish that wasn't the case. I miss an old game like Ninja Gaiden. I miss that. Like Ninja Gaiden 2 was one of my favorite games. It was hard, and it was, but it was fun. Oh yeah, here I got killed because I'm watching the damn collapse. I was like, wow, the damn collapse, collapse, and I'm sitting there like, oh yeah, that's right, this is Battlefield. <laughs> you don't hardly get that in Call of Duty, but you know, I miss games like Ninja Gaiden 2 or something like God of, or something like a God of War. I miss those type of games, but the shooters, shooter industry has just been just overwhelming. Not saying the games are bad, but what other games are there to play? Really, I mean, I wish I don't like playing indie games. I ain't gonna front. I don't want to play indie games. I don't. Want, I'm old enough to have played games when they weren't called indie. They were next gen games. I don't want to go back to that. I, I'm at age now. I want to see photorealistic uh gameplay i want to see that type of stuff but or do you want i'm just wondering do people 
is this all gamer uh gaming community want to play wants you know everybody want to play this type of game do they just want to just keep playing shooters or what have you but i do have other games that i do play like uh lord of the rings the shadow of mordor whatever the game is that game is pretty cool that dragon ball z game is really good i was going to put up some dead or alive 5 because i downloaded the game and oh my god if you got an xbox one I advise you probably not to download the game today past this game because it is the game when you first play it it's like it's really cool because you're playing the fighting is fast it's furious 60 frames per second it's, it's everything that you would want in a game pretty much other than this big selling point the problem with this fighting game when you're playing it is just it's over it's overly sexualized in the game so that's pretty much what it is. It's overly sexualized showing the women. It's like, I don't care about seeing fake women. I can see real women in real life naked or half naked or whatever. That's just my personal preference. But I guess it's, I guess it's for teenage boys or whatever, what have you. But the gameplay, like when you're playing and you're watching the play, it's like, it's gorgeous. But there's so many bugs in the game. It's ridiculous. You can't block. You can't. It's hard to counter and so forth and so on. So now I digress. And I go back into, again, with um, Battlefield Hardline coming out. What do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be a good game? Do you, can, you think that it's really going to be worth it? Because it's it's basically an expansion of Battlefield 4. It's going to use the same engine. I know they're going to have different guns. And um, again, with the team play. But people have been saying uh, that it's going to be pretty good. Because I've said that two or three times. But I'm just wondering if I should wait or should I just go ahead and get it copied on day one. But, uh, but that's what I was just wondering. I'm just curious, man. What do you guys think about that? And what do you think about the market in general when it comes to games? Also, do you think games should cost more now? Do you think that the $60 price point is a good price point? Because these games cost a lot more money to make, a lot more money to produce. Um, but the way they're recouping their money on the other end is really through DLC and season passes. You know, So you end up, if you're playing the game, if you like it, then you end up playing you end up paying 60 bucks for the base game and then get the rest of the rest of the game that's probably locked on the disc if you buy the disc like me i download games now i don't i don't want to drive to gamestop just to pick up a game and uh but you ain't going to end up spending like 70 80 bucks anyway sometimes maybe a hundred dollars just for one game i mean that's how they're recouping their money i'm telling you guys that's what they're doing so you're only getting the base model of the game when when you're buying it now for 60 bucks so, would you have a problem with the game itself, with the games, when if they were to come out at, let's say, a $70 price point or a $75 price point, would that be a big issue for you guys? Do you think, do you think the game, the pricing is fine? The DLC, unlocking the DLC, you think that's okay? For me, I, I don't know, honestly. A lot of times I don't buy DLC. I got too many, I got burnt too many times from DLC and season passes from different types of games and I bought them and then I wasn't playing them playing the game anymore because I play a lot of different games once I get bored with the game I don't usually like to go back and play them too too many times so just curious about what you guys think of that um, anyway again, it comes in the, the gameplay like I said it wasn't the greatest gameplay in the world uh, it was just something really just to put up here just to show you guys something different a little bit of different gameplay or what have you so tell me what you think about do you think battlefield hardline is going to be any good do you think that the pricing in the gaming industry need to change let me know leave a comment below and it's, and it's your boy king bean and i'm about to sign out i'll holler at you dudes later one love peace